What's up guys and welcome back to another video on Hyper Gaming. In today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at the brand new redesigned Microsoft Store also known as the Xbox Store on the Xbox One. This is now available to a subset of Xbox Insiders in all rings as well as a subset of people in the general public. Without further ado let's get started with the video. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice when launching the redesigned Microsoft Store is the home page, where you can get information about new releases, featured content, as well as sales, which is currently live on the Xbox Store. You can see we've got NBA 2K21, the demo is now available, the Summer Spotlight sale, the in game event, an advert for Xbox Live achievement leaderboards. Spirit Fair, which is a brand new game that's just came out, as well as quick links to search, deals, and Xbox Game Pass. You can see that we can go up and down with a D-pad to access various sections on the Xbox Store, such as games, Game Pass, movies, TV, apps, and finally console and accessories. If we go to the Games tab and go to Top New Games, You'll notice that we have a brand new interface showing all the new games which is currently available on the Xbox One. You can see we've got games such as WRC 9, Drake Hollow, Rota Go Kodong, Tech Glitch, Liege Dragon and Double Kick Heroes and many more. You can see that you can quickly get information such as the name, if it's part of a bundle, if it's a new release, the genre and the game description and price. You can see on the top right hand corner, the game trailer is playing. You can see we can press X to filter by the following options. We can click on genre, number of players, capabilities and peggy rating. We can then select any of the games uh, by pressing the menu button to quickly add the game to our wish list. We also have the option to turn off autoplay video and autoplay sound. So you can see if I turn off autoplay video, the trailer will stop and the trailer will be replaced with the official box art of that particular game. If we go to one of the games, so for example w WRC 9, you can see that this game has two editions. We have the standard edition and then the deluxe pre-order edition. You can see that each edition tells you what is included in that edition. Uh, you can see we've got the standard edition and deluxe edition. I can scroll up and down on the analog stick to see what's in that package. I can press A to go onto the storefront, which again, like on the main screen, we have the title, the description, uh, publisher, the genre, um, and access to links to buy the game, choose the edition, add to wish list, buy as a gift, add to cart and we can scroll down using the up and down to go to details where you can get information about published by, developed by, release date, age racing, um, category and approximate size as is full description of the game. We have access to screenshots and a video which can be related to trailers, the DLC and all that lot. Uh, you'll notice that there's a brand new sidebar which can be accessed by two ways. First of all, you can press left on the D-pad on the home page, or you can press the view button on the Xbox controller. You can see straight away we have search, which can also be pressed by Y. The home page, you can see on each of the sections on the sidebar, you do have subsections. So for example, home, you can easily access to deals and subscriptions. Games, you've got easy access to add-ons, subscriptions, new games coming soon, top paid, etc. On films and TV, you can easily access new film releases, top rented films, featured films, browse TV and movie and TV specials. Apps, you can see that it has now been split into various sections, such as entertainment apps, apps for gamers, popular apps, popular music apps, apps with trials, and new apps. 
in the hardware section you can buy everything related to xbox related to consoles consoles oops you can buy xbox consoles xbox controllers headsets and accessories in the wishlist section as you can see this is no longer a separate section that you have to go to you can see that you can easily see what is in your wish list, see if it's on sale, and easily go to the store page for that particular edition. I can also uh, view the list normally, where I can also remove items, and also see what's recently been viewed on my account. In the basket, this will show you everything that you're about to purchase. And then you have redeem, which allows you to redeem a 25 character code. So if you buy a physical game and it has a 25 character code, you just need to go into the sidebar and then go to redeem. You've also got settings, which allows you to disable motion, which as you might have noticed in the background, there's some moving backgrounds. So that's what disable motion does. It just disables the moving background and also trailer playback. You can also disable autoplay video and autoplay sound. You've also got information about the version of the Microsoft Store. So that is about it for this video on Happy Gaming. This has been the brand new Xbox Store experience coming soon to the Xbox One. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you like more content like this, make sure you comment, like and subscribe for more gaming content on Hyper Gaming. I'll see you in the next one.